Top 10 Madden features that need to be brought back. Number 10 Madden 07 being a lead blocker. In Madden 07, before the play started, you could actually be a fullback, offensive lineman, or a tight end on run plays and actually be a lead blocker for your running back. And after you're done blocking, you could switch right back to the running back and continue making plays. And honestly, it's an underrated feature that should be in today's Madden. Number 9, Madden 11 winning the Super Bowl cinematics. When you win a Super Bowl in Madden 11 franchise mode, you were given a cinematic encapsulation of your season and the game itself, which highlighted key moments of the game and also rained down confetti on your team and everyone in the stands. But the best part about it was you could even meet the president at the White House, and at the time it was Barack Obama, and honestly it's one of the coolest features that they need to bring back. It made winning the Super Bowl more exciting and immersive in general. Number 8, Madden 08 Real Coordinators. In franchise mode, there was a time where you could actually hire and fire real coordinators that were in the NFL. Now, if you take a look at your coaching staff now in Madden, it's pretty much a bunch of random names with no facial features whatsoever. And I know it's such a small feature, but it brings a level of immersion that we need in Madden. Number seven, Madden 25 Ignite Engine Physics. When Madden 25 came out, it introduced a physics-based tackling system, which was a little bit clunky at times, but it was a little bit more organic and realistic football. Defensive players coming full speed downhill at running backs would actually make a big play, and you could really feel the power that was given to that running back. It gave Madden a more organic feel and had way more and less repeated animations than what we do now. Number six, Madden 10 Extra Point Show. In franchise mode at the end of the previous week, there would be a little show that summarized the games played last week. They would read out the scores and even give key stats that happened in the last game while giving a preview into the current slate of games this week. In my opinion, it was a super interactive and more enjoyable way to experience franchise mode instead of reading the tweets constantly. Madden 08 Fantasy Challenge. This was an offline game mode where you would pick a team and navigate through different tiers of teams based on how difficult they are. And the team you chose could be an original NFL roster from that game or you could actually have Hall of Fame players and current players on your team. What made this mode so fun was obviously playing with NFL legends, but the cool teams you actually could face. I remember one team actually could make any field goal possible, and I'm talking a 70 yard field goal, 80 yard field goal, they could make it. One team would make you fumble every time you juke, and one team was just all 99 overall. And for an offline game mode, it was actually really enjoyable and fun. Number four, Madden 12 Advanced Create a Team feature. In Madden 12, you could actually create a team, pick a logo and design the stadium and choose the colors. And with that created team, you could actually transfer it to a franchise mode and play with it. And how we don't have that now is honestly bewildering. Number three, ESPN NFL 2K5 VIP Profile. VIP Profile was one of the most advanced statistic-based tracking systems I've ever seen in a game. It was basically a little profile that showed you pretty much every statistic you would want to know. How many yards you get in this direction, the amount of times you stiff arm, juke, a passing chart showing your conversions on every single side of the field how many tackles you have in your total playing history, your record obviously, your third down percentage, your fourth down percentage, how often you go for it on fourth down. And that wasn't even the best part. With those stat tracking metrics, you could actually form an AI version of yourself and play against it. And how we don't have this in franchise mode showing our advanced stats, it boggles my mind to this day. Number two, ESPN NFL 2K5's Advanced Animations and AI. Once again, this game had one of the most advanced AIs we've ever seen in Madden history. The offensive line were actually blocking, and when their assignment was over, after they pancaked the guy, they would actually go to someone else and continue their job. Linebackers would identify plays and even give hand signals to show where the ball would eventually go. Defensive backs played textbook coverage. Star players with higher ratings actually made a notable difference on the field. Animation-wise, it was super impressive for the time being and even impressive now due to the motion capture system that they used back then. They actually got real NFL players to act out the motions on the football field, and if you look above, you'll really see the difference. And at number one, Madden 08 importing NCAA draft class to Madden. Back when college football games were a thing, you could actually play the career mode, AKA the Heisman mode, play through high school ball, your four years of college ball, and in your senior season, transfer all that draft class data to Madden and then continue your career in Madden as your player and then play your games until you're in the Hall of Fame. And just hearing that now sounds absolutely amazing in today's Madden landscape because you seriously could get the whole package, the whole NFL journey all in one go. 